George is iconic, this painting here. Well, it's his Mona Lisa. It is his Jolie Blanc of 1974. The way he told me the story is that he had been painting, you know, he his Cajun paintings, if you think of things like, for example, Ailey Dinner, uh, Bruce Art's Barbershop, these paintings with all these people, very tight. And uh, he was very tense. And he painted this for himself in the middle of the night very quickly. He told me he painted this in under an hour. He made her up out of his imagination. Jolie Blanc is, of course, the classic uh, Cajun song written by, one story goes, a prisoner in Port Arthur, Texas, which he loved that history, who wrote the song about his, his Jolie Blanc, his beautiful blonde who left him for another. It has become the Cajun waltz. Yeah, played at our wedding. And George said to me very romantically when we became us, I knew, Wendy, I have found my Jolie Blanc. Mm. George used many models for his Jolie Blanc over the years. Here is another painting. This is a model um, from Shreveport, Louisiana. Yeah. Carolyn Jones is her name. And George painted her quite a few times as Jolie Blanc. Over the years, this is a portrait from 1981. Very beautiful. Uh, holding a rose, yeah. Glowing from the inside out with the spirit of the Cajun people beneath a tree that has been cut off at the top to invite us all in to meet her. But it is this first painting that remains his most famous and the most iconic. It is a great honor for me to, um, to be within George's paintings as Jolie Blanc for him in many paintings, but not either of these. These are different. And certainly here, uh, he has made her up. Um, it's nice to see her again. The way George told it to me is that there were two couples fighting over her. After he finished painting her, he always regretted having sold her. And so years later, he painted another version of this exact painting. And that is currently on view uh, through the end of May at the Bayou Tesh Museum in George's hometown of New Iberia, Louisiana. That painting is four times this size, but it is the same image that he has re-envisioned in a very modern way, and he called it Jolie Blonde 2000, so it's great to compare the two. Mm. George is Jolie Blonde. She is, she is beautiful in many ways. She also hung in Paris, by the way, at Le Salon in 1975, maybe four.